chapter 12 Samuel speaks to all the Israelites for the last time All the Israelites now accepted Saul as their king Samuel had led them for a long time He had been a good leader Samuel had even given them the king that they wanted Samuel was very honest and was very fair The people could trust him He did not take anything from them All the Israelites agreed with this In chapter 8 Samuel had warned them that a king would take a lot from them. Perhaps Samuel wanted the king to hear how he should lead the people of Israel. God had chosen Samuel to lead the Israelites. Samuel led the Israelites in the way that God wanted. Then God chose and anointed Saul as the king. Now Samuel wanted Saul to lead the Israelites in God's way. Samuel was still a priest. The people could still trust Samuel. to lead them as a good priest in verse 5 the people said he is a witness he could refer to the lord or to the king as the witness you can read about jacob in the old testament books of genesis his birth is in chapter 25 he went to egypt in chapter 46 the account of moses and aaron is in the books of exodus and deuteronomy the book of joshua describes how the israelites came into the land where they now lived the events in verses 9 to 11 are in the book of judges the israelites asked for a king in 1 samuel chapter 8 but the account of the attack by nahash is not until chapter 11 in the past nahash was probably attacked other countries that was near israel perhaps the israelites thought that nahash could attack them in the future In these verses, Samuel spoke as a prophet. The Israelites knew a lot about what had happened to them in the past. In the verse 6 to 11, Samuel reminded them again. God had given them all that they needed. He had rescued them from all their enemies. Samuel reminded them that God had chosen leaders for them. These leaders led them in the battles. The Israelites had success and won their battles. Then Samuel reminded the Israelites that they had often stopped worshipping God and said they worshipped idols. So God let their enemies defeat them. The Israelites' main sin is in verse 9. They forgot the Lord their God. God wanted the Israelites to worship Him alone. He was their king. When they worshipped the Lord with their life was good. When they worshipped other gods, their enemies won the battles. But when the Israelites started to worship the Lord again, the Lord helped them again. In verses 12 to 15, Samuel reminds the Israelites that they refused the Lord as the king. Instead, they wanted a man as their king. But the Lord was still with their king. The Israelites had to obey the Lord. The king had to obey the Lord. In verse 15, Samuel warns the Israelites not to oppose the Lord. When they did this in the past, the Lord punished them. If they do it in the future, the Lord will punish them again. The wheat harvest is in the dry season. There is no rain or thunder in this season. In chapter 7, verse 10 to 11, God sent thunder to frighten the Philistines. The Israelites were very frightened when God sent the rain and the thunder in the dry season. The storm was a way that God spoke to the Israelites. They realized that they had sinned. They were afraid that God will kill them. But Samuel knew that God loved the Israelites. God chose them as a special people or the anointed people. The Israelites were afraid of God. But Samuel did not want them to turn away from God because of their fear. The people could not change what they had done. But Samuel encouraged them to live the right way in the future. The Lord has been very kind to them in the past. He would be kind to them in the future if they obeyed him. But if they did not obey the Lord, he would remove them. The Lord wanted his people to serve and worship him alone and only him. One of the Samuel's duty as a priest was to pray to God. Samuel knew that this was very important. He said that he would sin against God if he did not pray for the Israelites. He also had to teach the people the right way to behave. Samuel had done both these things while he led the people. Samuel obeyed the Lord and he continued to do his work for the Lord.